Okay, let's have a look at a group of molecules or a group of organic molecules known as amines. And they all have the functional group that contains a nitrogen with at least one carbon attached to it. So what I've given is the general structure here where we've got one carbon, one carbon chain, two carbon chains, three carbon chains. Now they can all be the same or they can all be different. But this particular group here is known as, amino, as an amino group. So if we have a very simple molecule, our nitrogen attached to three hydrogens, that's an ammonia molecule, it's not an organic molecule. On the other hand, if we replace one of these hydrogens with a carbon, some sort of carbon chain, we form what's known as a primary amine. So if it has one carbon chain, it's a primary amine. If we replace two of the hydrogens with two carbon chains, we form what's known as a secondary amine. And if we replace all three hydrogens, we form what's known as a tertiary amine. So how do we name amines? We look for the longest carbon chain containing the amine group and we use the suffix amine. We also must ensure that the lowest numbered carbon possible is used for the amine as well. So let's have a look at a simple molecule on the left hand side. We have a molecule with one, two, three, four carbons. So it's going to be a butane molecule. We drop the ain from the end of the butane and we add amine, so we've got butamine. And our amine group is coming off carbon number two. So we've got two butamine. We can also get a much more complex molecule here. And this time we've substituted all of the H groups off our nitrogen. So we have a methyl group, an ethyl group, and a propyl group here. From our rule, we look for the longest carbon chain that contains our amino group. In this case, it's going to be a propane with our nitrogen. So it's going to be propamine as our suffix. So we've got pro propamine there or propamine. And we have two other groups or two carbon groups coming off our nitrogen. And we denote these with an N. So in this case, we've got an N-ethyl we put this into alphabetical order, so we have N-ethyl, we have N-methyl, propamine as our longest carbon group. So our molecule is N-ethyl, N-methyl, propamine. 